Hi, I'm Paul Holly, and I'm with Bird King Manufacturing and today we're going to do a short video clip on how to convert your 115 AC controller to 220 input controller. Now on these controllers this is a single phase input controller with a three phase output so in these means you will have a three phase motor but single phase coming in. So the very first step on doing this operation is you're going to want to make sure that you disconnect your power supply. Once your power supply is disconnected, loosen your four screws to open up the controller box. Now with the controller box open, you'll want to disconnect the AC line L1 and L2. So we'll use a flat screwdriver, disconnect L1, disconnect L2, and be sure to disconnect the ground. Loosen the strain relief. And pull the cord out. Now with the existing 110 cord removed, you'll want to go to jumper J1 and move J1 from 115 to 230. Now we've got that plugged into 230 and we'll want to take a 220 15 amp cord to replug in, just a standard 15 amp end on a 220 volt cord. So the first step, you're going to want to put the string relief back through the hole on the bottom of the box. Tighten your string relief up, replace your ground onto the ground screw supplied in the box. Make sure the ground connection is securely tight. Place your black wire under the L1 terminal. the white wire under the L2 terminal. Once you fasten those wires, securely close the box. Plug your machine back into a 15 amp 220 volts receptacle and your machine will be ready to run. Now to take your machine from a 220 volt to a 115 volt, you want to make sure you disconnect the power supply. Open the box with the four screws around the outside of the box. Loosen the L1 and L2 AC line inputs. Loosen the ground screw. Loosen your strain relief. And 
and pull your wire out. You'll want a 115 20 amp end on the end of your cord. It needs to be a 12 gauge wire or larger in size. Uh, 14 gauge is not standard for running something at 20 amp, so you'll want to make sure you have 12 gauge wire and a 20 amp end. Okay, we're going to push this through the hole on the bottom of the box. ground back on your ground screw supplied in the box. Black wire is going to go in the L1 spot. and the white wire will go in L2. Securely close the box with the four screws in each corner and hook the power supply back up to 115 20 amp service. If you have any questions on doing anything inside these boxes Please feel free to call one of your service techs at Burke King Manufacturing and we can walk you through anything that you have any questions about. Uh, there again, these are inverter boxes. They have single phase power coming in, three phase power coming out, so you have a three phase motor here. Under no circumstances should you have to rewire the motor inside these boxes. The motor will stay 220 three phase at all times no matter what our input power is. So if you have any questions, please call us here at Bird King. Thank you.